Happy Friday, everybody. The end of the week is here, the beginning of the weekend. And if you have outdoor plans, Saturday will be better than Sunday. And Sunday looks to be a good indoor type of day, fairly well on the chilly side. More rain chances, maybe a rumble of thunder. We'll take a look at that forecast coming up here in just a little bit. I'm Chief Meteorologist Austin Onik from WDEF-TV News 12 in downtown Chattanooga, Tennessee. This is weather overtime. This is your opportunity to get a more enhanced view of what's going on with the forecast. We talk about tons of extra things on here that we don't have time to do so in a regular televised newscast. So welcome aboard. I'll go ahead and get started with the chance of some very very quiet conditions into this evening. Looking back over toward the Island Cove area and looking back toward the southwestern skies, planet Venus showing up quite nicely and barely visible just up and to the left should be the planet Saturn. But as of right now, too bright along the horizon, kind of drowning that out a little bit and a few people out and about on the water for this evening. So a quiet evening coming up right now. Usually do a countdown to spring forecast. Going to be combining that with opening day for the Chattanooga Lookouts. 81 days and counting until they take on the Mississippi Braves on Tuesday, the 11th of April at 7.15 p.m. in downtown Chattanooga. Really looking forward to baseball season returning as we go into the next couple of months. Again, hopefully not too bad out there. And again, hopefully good weather for kickoff of opening day in downtown. It was kind of a breezy day today. Picked up winds about 23 miles an hour. Very close to where we should be on the temperatures for today. Yesterday, not not today, but yesterday we broke a record high by two degrees that has stood since 1906. So a big number there for us. We have three inches of rainfall for the entire year. We should be at 3.26, so we could use a little bit more rain. And we're going to be picking that up in the next couple of days. Not into tomorrow for the most part. More chances of rain late Saturday night and into early on Sunday. Also very windy on Sunday. Southeasterly winds gusting over 20 miles an hour. And then back to sunshine and brisk on Monday with temperatures back in the mid to upper 40s. Thanking two of our own here at News 12. First of all, multimedia manager Courtney Goines, a very foggy view a couple of weeks ago from Chickamauga Battlefield. Gorgeous shot there on a very historic site. And for our production department, Cooper Allen, a nice view from his digs up around portions of Lookout Mountain and looking out over a beautiful blue sky out there. If you've got weather pictures, we'd love to see them and show them. Send them to pictures at WDEF.com or find us on social media. Drop them off at Facebook.com slash WDEF News 12. Our West Shore Home weather window pictures of the day, plural on that one. Our storm system that we will be waiting for over the weekend is already on its way over portions of the south central United States. It's making its way out of the Rockies and that's doing a good job of kicking up some scattered showers moving up across the area of the Mississippi Delta. Back to the west of us, we've got another storm system well off the coast, but high pressure is doing a good job of blocking it. That ridge of high pressure, keeping things quiet and dry for the most part. And that's a nice change for an area that has seen enough of its share of rain and snow coming up. Our forecast is going Going to include more of this rainfall heading up into the area coming up into the next couple of days. What we'll see is a dry but cold start to Saturday. Temperatures back around freezing. Again, please remember, scrape the entire windshield clean. That whole periscope driving thing is dangerous and just plain not a good idea. The cloud cover will start to make its way up from the Gulf of Mexico, overspreading the area. Temperatures very close to spot on normal for this time of the year. Rain chances begin on Saturday night to Sunday morning. Doesn't look like widespread thunderstorm threat. I think it's going to be embedded thunderstorms just anywhere in that mixture, but it doesn't look like a widespread possibility for thunderstorms. Chances of rain continue through Sunday morning, so heading off to church, Sunday school, or wherever you're going may want to allow for some extra time on wet roadways just to be on the safe side. And then temperatures might scrape close to 50 degrees as we go towards Sunday afternoon, as the rainfall chances begin to break up a little bit and spread out from there. So it's not looking too bad for most of Saturday with temperatures close to normal, upper 40s to lower 50s, and then more chances of rain start to move in by, say, sunset, more clouds as well. So if you've got plans for outdoors, you can keep them for, I'd say, most of Saturday. But as you get closer to around Saturday evening, that's where we start seeing the potential out there. Chances for rain 
less back toward the western United States. So again, a nice break for them. In the meantime, we're going to be picking up more chances of rainfall, at least semi above normal. We're pretty close to normal here, but down to the Gulf Coast and the East Coast, more chances of rain. And toward next week, this is a one week tally. Uh, it's called the QPF, Qu Quantitative Precipitation Forecast, from the Weather Prediction Center. And the heaviest amount of rainfall well on down to our south. But we will pick up the potential of maybe about an inch and a half to two inches as we go into around the next couple of days. And the west coast looking blissfully quiet, so good news there. We're not looking at a lot, but we will see the potential of some rainfall between now and Monday morning. Uh, best possibility of rainfall will be south of Chattanooga, the heaviest in a swath from northeastern Alabama through northern Georgia and back into the Carolinas. So if you have plans, again, that could be the worst of the worst. Less potential of rainfall north of Chattanooga, but there will still be chances of rainfall coming up into the later portion of the weekend. Temperatures remain stable over the next several days. Numbers back in the upper 40s to lower to mid 50s. Our next chance of rain showers coming up Tuesday into Wednesday. That'll be our next chance of rainfall coming on through. And it's what's going on well back to the end of the month around next weekend to where we could be looking at the potential of some stronger weather. Now toward around Wednesday into Thursday down to our south, that will be the best potential in the extended forecast from the Storm Prediction Center. Doesn't include the News 12 viewing area, but again, we're going to make you aware of this because of the fact that it is that time of the year where we really have to pay attention to severe weather forecasts. For the long range, Saturday into Sunday's rainfall clears the area going into Monday. And then our next storm system heads in Wednesday into Thursday. That's where we might see the potential of severe weather well on down to the south of us. It's also the possibility of seeing the potential of some decent winter weather from the Appalachians all the way out into the Kansas and Oklahoma Plains. And then maybe some more winter weather mixed in with some rainfalls that leaves the area Wednesday into Thursday. But as we go toward next weekend, good possibility from right now, at least looking better, of another and fairly energetic storm system coming on through. This one also with a good swath of snow from the plains back toward New England. We'll see just the chance of rain showers, but this also needs to be watched. Several series of storm systems coming on through. As we head into the peak of severe weather season, which is roughly late January through about, say, early April for this area of the country, it's important to get ready for severe weather. If you'd like to become the eyes and ears of the National Weather Service. They could use your help as ground truth observers to see what's going on. Skywarn volunteers, you're not paid, but your information could save a life somewhere down the line by reporting information back to the National Weather Service. Now, the National Weather Services that cover the area for Huntsville and Peachtree City, Georgia, are not having any meetings at this point in time. The one for Morristown, which covers the area north of the Tennessee line, that is going to be coming up for Hamilton County Friday, February 10th at 6 p.m. It is free, but you have to register at weather.gov slash MRX. And there are more meetings coming up over the next several days. For Ray County on Thursday, the 16th of February, Monroe County, Tennessee for Thursday, the 23rd, and for Marion County, Tuesday, March 21st. Again, all the addresses are available on the website. You can find out more details there about which ones are closer to you. And coming up a little bit later, we'll talk more about where you can take the Skywarn training online if you want to. Learn how to program your weather radio at WDEF.com slash weather. And of course, if you'd like to have one of our weather personnel come out and give a weather talk, all you have to do if you're a teacher or administrator, go to WDEF.com slash weather and click on weather in the classroom. And all of this stuff will be posted on our websites. More details available, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, Counter Social, Reddit, Tumblr, and a couple of chess websites. You'll find us out there someplace, so stop by and find out more details on that. Again, sort of a quiet weekend coming up, and more chances of rain could be a problem for outdoor activities. I'll have details at WDEF.com throughout the rest of the weekend. Contact me at aonic at WDEF for more if you'd like to find out more details there. Love to hear from you. And again, please send in those weather pictures. We'd love to have those as well. I'm Chief Meteorologist Austin Onick from News 12 in downtown Chattanooga. Stay tuned for much more with News 12 through the weekend on air and online.